Hello everyone. Today I'll be showing you how to create interactive and realistic water using Unreal's Niagara Fluids. In this quick video, we will go step by step so you can easily follow and create this for yourself in your own project. The first step, once you're in your GSAP project, you'll need to enable the Niagara Fluids plugin and then restart your project to activate the plugin. Once we are back, we can verify that it's enabled and start to get everything set up. We will head down to the content drawer and pick where you want to create your Niagara system and scroll down until you find Grid 2D SW Particle Collision and you can name it whatever you'd like, but for this tutorial, I'm going to name it Water Surface. We can open it up because we can get rid of some unnecessary things that we won't be using. It has a sample sphere running through it, so you can get a little preview of how its collision will look. We can get rid of the shallow water collision particle blueprint and do some organization. We can also get rid of the shallow water secondary emitter. We won't need either of these for the video. I'm going to pause the simulation for now and make the details window a little bit bigger for later. After we hide our window, we can now drag our Niagara fluids into our world and get it set up where we want it. I'm going to outline it with the traversal block so we can climb in and out of our little pool. Bear with me here while I create my outline. I will speed it up to lessen your suffering. I'm sure there are better ways to create an outline, but I'm only a couple months into my Unreal journey, so I am new like y'all. Now that we got our water set up and adjusted the water level to our liking, we can do a little test. As you can see, there's no collision and the water is unaffected by our character. We can fix this by going to our Niagara fluid system we created and get some proper tags and add them to our character. We can head to the details window and go to collide meshes. There's already an actor tag called collider. We can just copy and paste that and create a tag for components as well. Then go to your character blueprint and search tags in the details pane so we can make sure our character can affect the water. Under the component and actor section, add a tag using the same name as you did for your Niagara system and compile it. Now when we test, we can see our character can interact with the water, but it's a little too much unless your character is supposed to be 700 pounds. We can fix this by adjusting a few settings. We'll start with the SIM tab of shallow water emitter and adjust the velocity dissipation. You can play around with it until you find something you like. I did 0 0.01 for mine. Next we'll go to the emitter update section and go to update SIM attributes tab and do the same thing for the delta time multiplier. I chose 0.4. Finally, go back to the Emitter Summary and then Collisions tab and switch the Collision Velocity Multiplier. I chose 0.2, but again, you can play around with it until you find something you like. Now you should have some nice footsteps and waves coming from your character as you move through the water. You can go back into the settings and test and repeat until you find something that fits your project. If this helped you out, please like and subscribe and let me know in the comments what you'd like to see next.